Hey guys, this is episode 54 of Modded Minecraft. This is Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved. So last episode was wow. We had an absolute blast jumping in and out of worlds and we found some really good ones and wow, we had we just had so much fun with Mistcraft. It was a very long episode, I do admit that, and I am sorry for it. It's almost a double episode into one. Almost. But yeah, it was a crazy episode. We had an absolute blast just yeah. Having fun. But we found an entire world made of bedrockium. Well, not an entire world, but an entire forest, pretty much of a lake of bedrockium. And we brought some hope. So here's the bedrockium tank from last episode. It illuminates so much light, it's not even funny. Look, I'll break it. It goes dim. And then you place it. It's like... It illuminates heaps. But I've done a little bit of research, and thanks to Venom pointing something out, um, we have uh, we, we, there's a way that we can put this inside the the um, smeltery quite simply. So all we need to do is make a channel, which is in, yeah, like that, a channel. This thing here, it's called a casting channel. Okay. And all we need to do is make one of these bad boys up. So we just need some scarred, some seared bricks, and which is quite, quite simple. Is just grout, which grout is, yes, like that. When I, I do have all that on me, sand, clay, gravel, quite simple stuff. So we'll quickly go over here, click this, click this, uh, click this, click the question mark. Wow. Alrighty. So that's going to give us forty grout. We, that's used up all of all of it, which is way too much in my opinion. But we'll go throw this bad boy in the furnace right now. We only need five bricks, um, and then we're gonna pretty much take this casting table and, and try get get the bedrockium out of there. That should be quite interesting. Come on, come on, come on! We only need five. We only need five. Speaking of which, these furnaces need to be upgraded. We need to start looking into electric furnaces with, I think, overclockers, I think they're called. Oh, I don't know. For, well, for, ah, I keep spelling that wrong. Oh, we'll come back to it. We'll come back to it. It's, uh, come on, come on, come on. We only need, we only need one more after this. Ba boom one more. We'll just let the rest we'll let the rest rest smelt down and we can use that for something else later on. When? Alrighty. So come to the crafting table. U shape. Ba boom. Ba boom. Alright. Casting channel made. So all we need to do is grab our, our tank here. Grab that. And come back on the other side. And we'll grab that back there, and I think I know how to do it. So pretty much what we're trying to do is pump it back into the tank. So we need to get rid of this casting table here, and we need to just put that on there like that. Okay, oh, we need to get rid of that too. So you see how it was like connecting? Yeah, we don't want it doing that. That's bad. So we need to drop, we need to put this molten uh, bedrockium tank on top. So, pretty much this here, this channel, will actually pump stuff back into the tank. So, all we need to do is take our, the faucet now, the faucet, and stick it, not kidding, on the side of the tank here, and then just right click. Check that out! How awesome is that? We're pumping bedrockium from the tank in there, and it's coming up in there. Look, 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 look. Look at that. That is freaking awesome. We no longer need to make bedrockium. We literally have an unlimited supply of the stuff now. And we can literally start casting that. So if we switch that around real quick, ba boom, to the bottom, 24. We can literally cast straight into this block here. So we'll cast it straight into the block. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And make it go hard. Come on. Doof. Oh, and we have a solid block of bedrockium, which we can convert down to nine bars. Check that out. Nine bars already. We, we, we have an unlimited supply of this stuff. It's freaking awesome. All right, throw that bad boy in there. <laughs> throw that bad boy in there. But yeah, there we go. We're going to have to set up some sort of little permanent, more better position than this. Um, maybe put some more of drains in, 
maybe further up. I don't know how, how we're going to do this, but there we go. We can literally cast it into to bars straight away, or we can cast it into solid blocks. It doesn't matter. We have a metric butt ton of the stuff now. Alrighty, so we want to start having a look into furnaces real quick um, because uh, electric furnace apparently these guys here can be overclocked and they can go they literally go nuts but I see I don't know what the difference between these two furnaces are there's a blast furnace there's a electric furnace there's an induction furnace this is just a normal furnace all right there's an iron furnace <laughs> we'll start with the electric furnace shall we iron furnace all right which is relatively right, straightforward. We can make iron sheet and just that. That's no problem. Um, what else do we need? Just a bit of redstone and electronic circuit. Which, if I'm if I know correctly, we should have electronic circuit still left over in here. That's advanced electronic circuit. Nazi. Oh, here we go. Electronic circuit. So we got oodles. Oodles, oodles, oodles. They're going to take EU power too, so we can hook it straight up to the wind. Yeah, we can hook it straight into the wind power too for that. That's going to be fantastic. Iron, that's tin plate. Um, iron plate, I think we need. What was it? It was iron plates. Yep. And just a regular furnace, which is not a problem. And we, whatever. All right, so we'll make a bunch of furnaces real quick. We'll make, we've got to make a bunch of these 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 quick fur these meant to be quick furnaces with overclockers. I don't know have a clue about the overclockers, but we'll get there. We'll get there. So we'll run down. We'll nick some cobblestone out of the um one of these sides. It's fine. Nick some out of here. Ba -ba 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 there we go. We're not gonna make a whole stack. We'll just there. That 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 will be oodles. And we'll just quickly do that real quick. Now. I'm still researching how to make a really good, um, really good mining world for these quarries and stuff. So just give me, be patient with that. I have been googling. I have been googling. There we go. Grab a bunch of furnaces because we got to move all this. That's why I started playing with Mistcraft again. Is because so we could get a a world just for mining. But I've been doing. I did do some googling and people are saying like um, dense ores times whatever and. And yeah, I've been looking, yeah, pages we don't have right now. So I'm still randomly generating worlds of miscraft and still getting pages to add to our selection at this time. I get turned around now since thanks to these doors. Um, okay, so what we need to do is make that iron furnace. We need to make a bunch of iron first. Fire, make a bunch of iron furnaces. Um, metal, pre metal press. Oh, okay. Um, we need to make a bunch of iron uh, engineer's hammer. Smash it. <laughs> Hoping. Oh, grab it over here. We might. Where is it? Metal former. Rolling. That's HV cable. All right. Yeah, I had HV cable in here instead. So I'm hoping we can roll some out real quick. I think this is how you do it. Because that is a hammer. Yep, iron plating. Fantastic. All right, let that keep going going and i still have iron plate that's a different kind of iron plate it's called the same thing though it's just different kind but i'm going to grab all my iron back from here come over here and get that sucker keep going all right we'll, we'll make one of these bad boys up dun, 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 dun. so it was that 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 and furnace which is makes an iron furnace and then and we'll grab some redstone and the circuits. So, redstone. We'll grab some redstone blocks. And the circuits. Where were the circuits? See, there's the the advanced circuits. Um, oh, now I'm half blind. Was it this one or was it this one? It was this one. Because there's the advanced circuits. I couldn't even see the advanced circuits. Where the bloody hell were they? There's the electrical circuits. That's what we need. All right, so, redstone, redstone, iron furnace, boom. All right, no problem. Bob's your blooming uncle. This is going to be cinch. This is going to be blooming cinch. Electrical furnace. Here we come. All right, grab one of those. I'm going to make a bunch of them, but I've got, I've got that roller going now. So, it was dun-dun. 
done and done. Ba-boom! Electrical furnace. Even hotter topic. Hell yeah! Alright, so what we'll do is we'll just take out my seed bick here. We'll break in here. Ba -ba -bom. Put that in there. Oh, we're moving up in the world. Oh, crikey, what the hell? Oh, crikey. Okay, we need overclockers. So these will be the upgrades, obviously. This is industrial craft. So yeah, there'll be upgrades. We need to upgrade all that to make it go crazy fast. It needs to be powered. So we need to break in behind here for now. Hopefully breaking in straight into the... Uh, where are you? Come on. Don't be a pain in my bum. There it is. Sorry. All right. Breaking straight into the main line here. Um, okay. So we need to run some HV cable down into the area, which we just need... Um, oh, crikey. Just need to find some now, which we should have. Uh, where are you? If not, we can make some up. There's some... Ah, there. There's some right there. Bam, bloom, and tastic. All right. Okay. All right. So, all we need to do now is make it... Where is it? It's here? It's here. So, we'll make it just come straight down. Straight down into here. Oh, and then just sort of curve around the corner. Quite simple stuff. Dun, 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 dun. See what I mean? Building this tunnel ages ago for all our uh, piping and stuff was a freaking good idea. It was a blooming hell of a good idea. So all we need to do is actually we'll just dig straight down here. And straight up. And now that will be hooked into the system. That should be powering that furnace quite nicely. Yep. Bzzz. So, obviously, we still use this electric furnace now. So, let's just do cobble. All right. So, it looks like it is faster. Yeah, it is faster than what than, than the normal furnaces. But we want to upgrade it. And I'm not even sure how to upgrade. So, compatible with upgrade overclock. Oh, see, I don't even know what the freaking... That's nuts. All right, so we need to get upgrade. Or... See, there's just so many upgrades in here. This is all mine. We need to find industrial craft upgrades. Here we go. Oh, here we go. This might be all hit here. This is it, maybe here. Fuel injection upgrades, signal upgrades, pulling upgrades, range receiver. Uh, transformer overclocker upgrades decrease the process time by 70 increase the power by 160 percent that's what we need oh great we need freaking coolant cells and, and see those are not problem the coolant cells is probably the problem tin plating and coolant cell coolant cell is from a bottler we do not have a bottler so we cannot get an upgrade for this sucker yet damn it all right stop 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 I want it, I want to get like the maximum upgrade for this. That's gonna be awesome. Um we'll just leave that for now and just let that go. I wanna show you guys what I've been working on behind the scenes here, which we're also gonna need to do very shortly. Check it out. So this gold chest these two gold chests back here I put back here a little bit ago. But I've been working on guess what I've been working on so you probably guessed already look at all the stacks of lava generators but I've been working on transfer transfer nodes and these freaking speed upgrades and oh god you name it so if you press E all right, do those upgrades later to worry about those right now type in lava because I really want to get a lava generator multiplier 64 times I've seen these normal normal one times multiplayer player generator run pretty well, especially an array of eight of them. Power powers my freaking um uh my my refineries in the in for the fuel perfectly. Right, eight of them. Could you imagine multiplying that by sixty four? Just one of these sixty four engines would be nuts, balls to the bloomin' walls. Now, I only want I only want a few of these bad boys for the, our upcoming project, in which I'll explain the project very shortly. Um, 
So, which require, obviously, the eight times multiplayer, and, the, you know, the, so, yeah. But anyway, I clicked on this, and I realized, I started making plenty of these, obviously. They're, they're the first things I made, which is the transfer nodes, just, which is easy, which is just redstone blocks, stone chests, and just see, look, it's just easy ass. And if you want, if you want these, it's slabs and redstone. Very, very grindy task. That's why I've been doing it off cam. Just slowly working on it. I made four of them so far, which is good. And these speed freaking updates, are, are these, these, those speed upgrades are quite weird. As I went to Blim and Hell. So, which are for, if we go in here. So yeah, this, for these, so in-depth search upgrade. So I had to make some of those, which require speed upgrades, which is just redstone blocks. And then you click on that, and it's just, to make a speed upgrade times four, is just, oh god, see what I mean? It's so grindy. Like, I have all these resources, they're just nuggets and gold and tons of redstone blocks. That's it, I've been making butt tons of them. As you can see, I've made butt tons of them in here, ready to go. The problem now is, the problem now is, guys, is we need, I need, I've got enough to actually go to the eight times... The eight, uh, the yeah, the eight times, uh, which this is an eight times modifier lava generator. The problem is we need to make this, to make this, which is the transfer node. You actually need a QED recipe. Well, these are, these are QED recipes. So it looks like we have to build a new machine to, to to do this one. So which is kind of sucky. Which would, which builds our transfer node anyway. And from there, I would build as many as I could to eight times, and then I'll transfer all those eight times to 64 times because this is the transfer node hyper energy, which I'm pretty sure are the same. No. So this one here is just energy, and the one up is the hyper energy. And that is bedrockium. And guess what? We have bedrockium. Tons of it out of you, you gang. And just energy transfer nodes. Quite simple stuff. So I plan on using it for our project. Okay, so after explaining what I've been doing off to the sides and we still, I still have a nowhere near making it my first 64 times generator yet. So my plan, let's talk my plan, shall we? Let's talk my plan. This is, we'll talk my plan. We'll go to, oh, I, need, I think I need to charge my jetpack. Yes, I do. Crikey, I was gonna go to the nether and just sort of just drift around and talk about my plan. Okay, so. We'll have to just talk about the plan. So the major project is, okay, so well that's charging. The major project is we're going to build a an old-fashioned mob farm but blend it into modded. That's what I want to do. Um, I know for a fact already, so you, you just, I know those people are going to be like, Data, you can get mob spawners that's uh, powered and they spawn constant mobs and blah de blah de blah I know that already and we will dabble in that. Guys, please be patient. We will dabble in that in the future. And I, I will dabble in it, but I just want to start with a um, mix of things. So what I want to do is use a quarry. I want to use multiple quarries. A lot of quarries, okay? I want to use a lot of quarries. And that's still charging. I want to use a lot of quarries in the nether. I want to dig out the nether. And yeah, you heard right. I want to turn a middle of the fortress into what I've got here. But obviously, minus all the water. So, that's what I want to do. From bedrock ceiling down to the ground. I want to get rid of everything. And where we're standing, but picture this, be the fortress, okay? Even the fortress will go. The fortress will get sucked up, but we'll just mark out where we want stuff. And I want to build, not really, sort of like a honeycomb, not really squared yet. Sort of like a honeycomb style of um, rooms. And I want to put grinders in them. You know how the grinders kill mobs, kills everything. Now, I want to kill everything in the nether. I want to get gas tears. I want to get blaze rods. I also want to get wither skeleton heads. Why do you think I'm planning on doing it in the nether over a fortress? So, the plan is, this is the full-blown plan. We are going to build, we are going, oh, crikey, that's a lot of bedrock. Him. We are going to build eight an array of eight lava generators times 64, which is insane, which will generate a butt ton of power. That power is going to go into stripping the crap out of the nether. That's right. Uh, we're going to strip the crap out of the nether really quickly, as fast as we can. And then the the, the lava generators that that uh, that, is, that will still uh, will still be remaining there 
will pretty much be used for the power for the mob farm. The mob fa they, those the 64 lava generators will actually power will power the um will go ahead and auto yeah, oh, thank you. Will power will power the whole mob farm. All the grinders that we're going to be using automatic, you know, killers and and piping for items etc etc, they will all be used for um um, they'll be all used for killing uh, for the power, to power grinders because we're going to have butt tons of grinders. So that there, guys, is the grand plan. I just told you my major project, what I want to get done. Um, yes, we'll be in, we'll be on and off the project because we we haven't set up our first quarry out there yet. Um, I just don't. Yeah, I wanted to get my 64 lava generators done first, and that's just being totally honest. Um, but yeah, I've been sort of getting sidetracked and. Getting there slowly, getting there slowly. Um, at the end of the day, I think it's going to be an awesome project. An absolutely freaking awesome project. The thing is, we have to go choose a proper location for it. Do we go, do we find one that's mostly over a lava lake? Oh, crikey. Oh, crikey. Oh, nuts. So, you know, we've got, we've got a fortress already. Um, we've got a fortress already, which is around the corner here. If it loads in nice and quick here. So if you fly around the corner here, you'll see the fortress. Which is here is my nether fortress. See, we've got an unlimited supply of lava for the 64 lava times generators. But all we have to do... Oh, if I can freaking get a good view. So we'll park our bums down here real quick. So all we have to do is dig out all this. Like from ceiling to gone. Ouch! Crikey! That's nuts. So, finding a spot to dig out is going to be the key question. It's like, where do we set up? Do we do that fortress there? There's also a fortress around the corner here, um, if I remember correctly. See, there's a fortress right here too. Check it out. There's another fortress right here. This is, this is probably the better fortress, to be honest with you guys. Yes, there's a lot more clearing, but this is more over a lava lake. We, we need it over a lava lake, not just because of the spawns, but because of the, um, we need to power our big 64 multiplier generators times eight. It's going to be insane amount of power. So, A, we've got to find the center of the fortress and then just sort of quarry out, you know, just quarry out. It shouldn't take long to quarry out the nether, I'm thinking anyway. So, it's going to be one of those on and off projects until we quarry out most of the nether. But we need to start on that very soon. Also, I want to start on... You know, I, I really want to start on the freaking making my mining world as well. And I want to quarry out there too. And, oh, nuts. There's lots to do, guys. Lots and lots to do. Um, absolutely metric, but tons. But, yeah, hopefully you like my plan. It's, it's, it's going to be a mix of a modded mob farm with a classic old grinder platform style as well. So it, it's going to be a mix of both. And then in the future, we'll, we'll make those automatic spawning ones that spawn every, you know mobs and we'll, we'll make those ones but for now i think we're going to stick with making a uh, mixing modded with with non-modded you know making one of these huge especially grinders I'm, I'm looking forward to playing with those much more in depth much more in depth all right i think we're going to call it now guys thanks for watching episode 54 of modern minecraft this has been feed the beast in be evolved don't forget, guys, if you're enjoying the content, to smash all those buttons. And I'm going to get started on trying to convert these uh, all the furnaces over to electric furnaces and get those all hooked up. And we might talk about bottlers and XP upgrades next episode. Um, crikey. Where, uh, where is it? The roll? How's the roller going? Got 54 plates already. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all later.